A visit to the zoo is always a great option for a fun family activity. After all, that's the perfect spot to spend some time surrounded by nature. Especially if you live in a crowded city and you want to see some animals in the wild. And I know some people today are against the idea of zoos and they believe animals should always be free. But we have to remember that there are bad people out there who are likely to harm them in the wild. And zoos are trying their very best at preserving some species and give them the quality of life that they deserve. However, there are some animals out there that succeeded in breaking free from the man-made environments and managed to escape the zoo. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of those wild animals that escaped from their zoos. Their escapes with their communities in panic mode as everyone around was afraid to run into one of these wild animals. Make sure you stay tuned to watch the ultimate animal escape I have at the top of the list. It's honestly pretty crazy. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Rusty the Red Panda Red pandas are cute and seemingly harmless, yet it was quite scary to see that Rusty the Red Panda from the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. had escaped. Being such a small creature, the possible dangers of the big city were endless, and the zookeepers just wanted to make sure that their red panda was safe. The zoo authorities took their worries to Twitter as soon as they saw their little friend wasn't at his normal spot. The initial post read, A missing red panda, a male named Rusty. He was last seen at 6 p.m. last night. Through their account, the zookeepers kept their neighborhood up to date on the search for the red panda. Everyone in DC kept their eyes open, looking for Rusty. Finally, one of the residents spotted a red panda wandering around a residential area. Given that red pandas are not native to DC, the chances of it being Rusty were pretty high. And of course it was him. In less than an hour, animal control experts came over to the area and put Rusty in a crate to bring him back to the zoo. Number 9. The Humboldt Penguin the next animal on this list spent 82 days on the loose. It was in fact a Humboldt penguin at the Tokyo Sea Life Park, and it wasn't until someone sent a picture of the penguin that the zookeepers realized they were missing one of the 135 penguins they have at their exhibit. Somehow the little penguin managed to climb a rock and make his way to the Tokyo Bay. He then jumped in a river and that's where the director of another zoo spotted him and alerted the penguin's keepers. However, the authorities encouraged locals to stay away from trying to save the penguin and let the experts handle the situation. The zookeepers decided to wait for the bird to come back to shore and catch him in his sleep, but it took them more than two months to finally accomplish that. I guess Japanese zookeepers are very patient. I wouldn't be able to wait that long, but I'm sure the penguin enjoyed his time in the waters that run through the big city. Number 8. The Bronx Zoo Cobra What's scarier? To know there's a big wild animal roaming through the streets of your city, or to know there's a sneaky and potentially venomous small animal making its way through your neighborhood. I don't know about you, but I would prefer a big animal because at least you can see those quite easily. It's very different when it comes to a snake, and that's exactly what happened in the Bronx. The whole city of New York went into panic mode when the Bronx Zoo reported that one of their cobras was missing from their reptile exhibit. Someone even made a Twitter account called at Bronx Zoo Cobra to make fun of the situation and turn the missing reptile into a celebrity, getting more than 200,000 followers in the midst of the search. After six days of searching, the zookeepers finally found the shy cobra in a corner of the reptile exhibit, a few meters away from the enclosure that she had escaped from. Reptile experts took the opportunity to teach people that snakes are as scared of humans just the same way humans are scared of them. If the cobra has to decide whether to fight or flight, she would definitely choose flight if she can. Number 7. Cyril the Sea Lion Back in 1958, a sea lion named Cyril managed to escape his home at the Storybook Garden Zoo in Ontario, Canada. The brave sea lion swam through Lake Erie and made it through international boundaries until he was finally found around a boathouse in Ohio. Cyril was then taken to the Toledo Zoo, but was sent back to Canada a few weeks after that. However, the people at Toledo Zoo could have kept Cyril if they wanted to. Apparently there was a case in the late 1800s that was similar in which a sea lion escaped and swam across international borders, and a New York Supreme Court ruled that wild animals which escape from their owners are no longer the property of their former owners. Nine years after the incident when Cyril passed away, the authorities of Ontario made a statue in honor of this famous sea lion. They also invited people from the Toledo Zoo to attend the unveiling ceremony. Zoo officials of Toledo and Ontario built and maintained friendships due to Cyril's epic swim. Who would have thought that a sea lion could make such an impact by swimming across international borders? Number 6. Ken the Orangutan Beloved Ape 29 was a renowned escape artist. 
Those were the words written in Ken Allen's obituary after the famous orangutan passed away back in the year 2000. Born in 1971, this ape was famous for escaping his enclosures, especially in the mid-80s. The most surprising thing about it was that Ken would escape his enclosure just to stroll around the San Diego Zoo and look at other animals. He was never aggressive towards visitors or zookeepers, and he knew that sooner or later they would come for him and bring him back to his enclosure. It was as if he was challenging himself to find new ways to escape. After multiple escapes, the zoo authorities began to watch him closely, in order to figure out how Ken managed to climb out of his enclosure. But Ken knew he was being watched, so he wouldn't do anything in front of them. The zoo finally hired rock climbers and invested $40,000 to identify Ken's escape routes and keep him from escaping in the future. It's actually a good thing that they did that, because other orangutans had already started to follow Ken's lead and were escaping as well. Number 5. Virginia the Wolf if you have dogs and cats, you know that out of these two, cats are the ones most likely to get lost and escape your house whenever they feel like it. However, dogs are a bit trickier. Dogs generally just stay by you and they will run away only when they see any open doors or windows. Or, you know, a cat. For that reason, it was quite shocking to see Virginia the wolf to escape her enclosure at the LA Zoo back in the late 70s. Just like dogs, wolves are not expected to climb trees or fences, but Virginia managed to do it quite a few times. She even avoided veterinarians and zookeeper visits thanks to her acquired skills. And funny enough, even tranquilizer guns had no effect on her. Virginia wanted to live in the wild and she managed to do it. At some point, one of the zookeepers joked by saying that Los Angeles was home to the largest wolf exhibit, referring to Griffith Park, the nearby area in which they lost track of Virginia. Up until today, we don't know if Virginia was ever recaptured. Whether it was inside or out of the zoo, I just hope she lived a happy and pleasant life and hopefully didn't hurt anybody at that point. Number 4. Evelyn and Jim, the LA Gorillas It seems like the LA Zoo had its fair share of animals escaping its premises. Virginia was now the only animal that has escaped. In fact, there was at least 35 animal escapees that were reported towards the end of the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s. And that includes Evelyn, a gorilla that escaped her enclosure at least four different times. And then there's Jim, her strong partner. Evelyn was very creative when it came to her escapes. At one point, she even jumped onto the back of Jim just so she could hop over her enclosure. She also took advantage of some overgrown vines to pull herself out, and the most famous of her escapes was so epic that even TV news came in helicopters to follow Evelyn around the zoo while the visitors were evacuated. Jim, on the other hand, used his muscles to break a door and squeeze in through its opening. The zoo reported that Evelyn spent some time of her freedom watching the elephants and the giraffes. I suppose she was so interested because these were the only other animals that she couldn't see from her enclosure. No wonder she was always looking for ways to get out because that's actually pretty interesting. Number 3. Tatiana the Tiger The next story on this list has an unfortunate tragic end. This is the story of Tatiana and three guys who visited the San Francisco Zoo back in 2007. It all happened after closing hours when Tatiana escaped from her enclosure and attacked three visitors, including a 17-year-old who died in the tragic event. The other two, a 19-year-old and a 21-year-old, got severely injured and ran to the zoo's cafe, which of course was already closed. An employee at the cafe did hear them scream, but he thought it was a mentally ill person. Once help was on the way, it still got delayed because the security guards locked the entrances to prevent Tatiana from escaping out of the zoo's premises. At the end, armed officials came to rescue the victims and shot Tatiana to prevent her from further attacks to humans. The two survivors spent four days in the hospital and the whole event resulted in improvements of the tiger's enclosure. Some people blame the zoo for what happened to the humans, while others blame it on the irresponsible visitors who were under the influences of substances. According to the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, this was the first time that a visitor was killed by an escaped animal. It is hard to figure out what really happened on that day, but one thing is for sure. Both the human and the tiger deserve to live longer. Let's hope this sort of chaos doesn't happen again. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I have today is one of a very big animal roaming through the city streets. Have you heard that story? What happens when people see huge wild animals on the streets, though? Number 2. The Rhino in Acadiana Zoo which rhymes. Back in 1996, a white rhino escaped her enclosure, crossed a highway, and even threatened a group of veterinarians who tried to use tranks on her. The rhino was relatively new to the Acadiana Zoo, a private zoo in Broussard, Louisiana. 
She was able to break through a pipe fence after a fight with a male rhino. A little after that, someone spotted her crossing the U.S. Highway 90 around 4 in the morning. A group of veterinarians came to meet her right after sunrise in an effort to put her under the influence of Tranks, but the rhino charged and threatened to hurt them. The vets were able to run and hide in some trees, but one of them couldn't move that fast. However, he was holding a rifle, and that's the weapon he used to solve the threat. Taking care of wild animals requires a lot of responsibility, and some places are obviously not ready for such a task. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1 Three escapes in one day. And to close this list, I'll give you not one, not two, but three animal escapes. They all happen within the same day. Back over in 1964, an unlucky zookeeper and their former flesh haker zoo got a call regarding 13 buffalo that the police captured after escaping the zoo. The zookeeper wasn't even aware of the escape, but that was just the beginning of a very long day of animal escapes. Five hours later, he got another call. This time it was regarding a 300-pound pygmy hippo that was going for a stroll down a street nearby. And finally, to end such an eventful day, an Agati left the zoo and had to be chased before being brought back to his home. This series of escape made the zoo authorities check their security system, and I actually would have been concerned if I was them. Those are all the animal escapes I have for today. What did you think of them? Let us know in the comment section below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.